Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to use the OneTab Chrome extension. What I have here is OneTab already open and I have locked and saved basically bookmarks of websites or files, documents that I want to save and I have them grouped and I even titled them. If I want to open all these, I would just restore all. If I want to bring them in here, for instance, these four right here, I want to put into a tab group to save. So I'm going to say bring all tabs into one tab. But let me start over from the beginning and show you how I got this one tab onto my Chrome extensions and then how I use it. First, you're gonna want to head to the Chrome Web Store, type in one tab, and you wanna grab this. So if you click on it, mine's already here, but this will say add to Chrome and go ahead and add it to Chrome. Once it's there, you'll see it populate up here. If I open this, it opens my tab again. As you can see, those four tabs are in there that I had and those locked ones are here as well. Like I did before, I brought all four of those tabs here. If I wanna restore them all because I wanna use them for class, I can open them all at one time. If I wanna pull them back in, I have them here. It closes them up here. This is also really nice. So you don't have all these tabs open that you can have them grouped maybe by class period or topic, content, whatever you're working on. If I want to name this, I can, just like I have period one tabs and my advanced slides PD tabs. So I will come to more, I will name this. And just for today's example, I'm gonna say this is my period two. And then I'm also gonna lock this tab so that if I close out of this and I close completely out of Chrome, and I open my Chrome back up again, and I'm gonna click on one tab. You can see my period two is there now. One feature that I really like about this is I can actually, let's say I'm working on a project with students and I have a direction sheet, a template, and maybe some other things I wanna give them all at one time. I can click this share as web page, and it has a QR code, which is great for my students because they have iPads and they can scan this real quick and they have it here. Or you can share this URL with them. Another nice feature of OneTab is if I hover over these, I can delete them. I might have to unlock the group to do that. So it's unlocked now. And then I can delete ones out and say, I no longer need this for my period two. And I can also restore them all and add a tab here and bring it back in here. If I am done with the entire group, I can just say, delete all the tabs. If I wanna keep it, I just lock it again. This is just a really nice option, especially if you're working on projects where sometimes I'm researching for one of my presentations I'm making and I'll end up with like 15 tabs open at once and the end of the day has come and I wanna go back to those tabs tomorrow. This is a great option to go ahead and pull them into one tab, lock them in place and you have them for tomorrow. I hope you enjoy one tab as much as I do.